there, okay? Let me just show you what it looks like. Get my line going. Okay, so we start again, same thing, low rod tip, bring the rod back. Okay, look what my left hand does or, or doesn't do, okay? It's not doing anything, it's just staying right where it is, okay? Not this, okay? This is, this is slack, this ad puts slack into our cast. Slack is a bad thing for a fly caster. You wanna try to eliminate slack. So I'm just gonna come apart a little bit, keeping my left hand, or if you're a left-handed caster, your right hand pretty much stationary. What happens is because your hand doesn't move, the line's going back, there's a little bit of a pull on it. It increases the line speed or the momentum or the centrifugal force of the loop in the back, okay? That's a single haul, pretty much. I mean, if you really want to get aggressive, you'll give it a little jerk. You want to be able to do it so enough so you can kind of get the, the rhythm going. And it's a matter, it's timing, it's not strength, it's not faster, it's not slower, it's just, it's an easy timing thing. You want to be able to feel the line go and straighten out behind you and straighten out in front of you. And you'll feel in your cast, as you did yesterday, when you finish your forward cast, the line feels like it wants to kind of tug out. You let go here and it goes, whew, it shoots out. I'm letting some line go out on the back cast and out on the front cast because, and there's no set amount that I'm letting it out. It's just I'm trying to feel the rod load and the speed of the line build. It, it takes a while to learn it. It's a real timing thing. Um, it's not something that you should expect yourself to be able to come out here and know how to do this by the end of today. Um, it's something that's used for uh, developing line speed wind. You know, you need to get the line really going to punch through the wind to present your fly when you have wind right in your face. Uh, more distance. With your basic pick up and lay down. Put the, the line in your index finger. Start out that way. If that goes well, then build up. Take the line out and put it in your other hand. Okay? And just kind of build. If things start to kind of go array, then go back to basics. Think about your back cast, number one. That's, that's mostly where most casters' problems are. The root of their problem is that back cast. They're, they may be doing this, sweeping the rod, okay? Straight up, strong back cast. Start out slow, lift, and snap pop to a nice, strong back cast. All right, off you go. Give each other lots of room. The wind is blowing today. It'll blow your back cast over and hit your neighbor in the, in the head. Raise it up, snap. See what a small motion you're doing? Right. As opposed to throwing it down yeah. like that. Way too much on. Ready, do a couple more. Yeah. Starting low, raise it up slowly. Snap, snap. See the difference? Yep. Okay, do you know what happened there? Too slow. <laughs> Um, no, your back cast was good. You let go here too soon. Wait for everything to be finished with your forward cast and then let go. You cast forward, let go, then sink. Oh, too soon again. I didn't. Recognition is half the battle. Okay, too soon. That's good. Okay. Try it again. No, I let it go, but. Okay, let's just start and um, hold the line. Don't think about letting go. Think about your back cast, nice straight rod, make a nice back cast, good.